Hello and welcome to Brando Consulting. This is Lance and in this video we're going to take a look at closing out work orders. So first of all we'll go to the manufacture order screen in Fishbowl. You can click on the tab or go here. I already have it open but that's how you get to it. And we'll find the work order that we want to close out. You'll see a list of them over here. I've got work order 178 already loaded and ready to go. So to close out a work order, highlight the work order from the list of work orders on the manufacturer order screen. So I'll highlight this top one, go to the right, click finish. And at this point, you should have already finished the pick. In a previous video, we went over uh, starting a work order. And in that step, we uh, handed a work order traveler to uh, the supervisor and handed a pick ticket to the pickers and they went crazy and, and uh, got everything picked and now they've they've got everything assembled. So this is a very simple bill of material. It only has one raw good on it and so that's already been picked and we'll click next. This is probably the most important step of of the whole finished process is making sure that the consumption on the work order traveler that came back to you just now let's see if you can see that Ooh, yep, there it is right there so your um, your supervisor already filled out the work order traveler and said what was consumed we need to make sure that this consumption is correct if for whatever reason you missed the picking step and uh, somehow your inventory is off and you've got a red warning symbol up here I would say do not continue that could really mess up the final cost of the work order and it could it could uh, not record what you actually use because obviously if you finish the work order then you did consume the items so you need to record that they were consumed you may have to go back and do a cycle count adjustment and make sure that everything that was picked was recorded before you continue on this step this is such a critical step that in the uh, user rights section in Fishbowl Fishbowl added a user right to disallow you from accidentally continuing on this screen right here. I highly recommend you take a look at the user group under the manufacturing portion of the user group and make sure that no one has the ability except for maybe the admin or the accountant or someone that is different from the person that's doing this just so this will stop um, Let's say you're the, the production supervisor or the, um, the head of production and, and uh, you don't want to accidentally make a mistake. Well, make sure you don't have rights to continue here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's say everything's okay. We'll click next. This last step, we select the location to put the item, the, the finished um, good in that, that was finished and we have a yield of 20 here if we didn't finish the entire work order then we could change the quantity to a lesser amount here or also if we didn't finish the entire work uh, work order we could change this quantity to a lesser amount and this means we only finished uh, a portion of the bills material if that's the case, Fishbowl gives you the option to finish the rest later. See, it says create new work order with remaining materials. So, uh, but we got this back from the supervisor and we know that they did indeed finish everything. So we're going to record everything is finished and um, put it in, put the finished good in stock and no need to print anything here we'll click finish okay so just a quick review of that highlight the work order click finish 
make sure that the pick is finished. We should have blue check marks here. If they're not blue check marks, go back to the pickers and say, hey, we need to finish the pick, or go back to whoever's in charge of recording picks and say, you know, what happened. Click Next. And here we take a look at the work order traveler we got back from the supervisor. And we record the quantities that he wrote on there as consumed. Uh, record the yield. The yield should be recorded on the traveler you gave to the supervisor. And record the location group, or excuse me, the location to put the finished good in. Now, if you assign a default location to your finish good part on the part screen, then this field will auto populate. Click next, finish, and we're done. Thanks for joining us on finishing out a work order. Have a good day.